In this video, we're going to talk about the mean and standard deviation for the binomial distribution. And also, we're going to talk about uh, what's called unusual, unusual values. So first, the formula for the mean. It's really, really simple. It's simply mu equals NP. Okay, pretty easy formula. And then the formula for the standard deviation. Standard deviation. It's sigma equals the square root of NPQ. And we can use something called the range rule of thumb that will help describe uh, the purpose of the mean and standard deviation a little bit better. So the range rule of thumb, okay, it basically says um, the usual I'll say it a couple different ways. So the usual number of successes are between are between the following two numbers. So mu minus two sigma and mu plus two sigma. So anything between these numbers is usual unexpected. This number here, this is called the minimum usual value. So minimum usual value. And this one here, this is called the maximum usual value. So maximum usual value. So anything between these numbers is usual. Anything not between is unusual. So between these is usual. For example, if this was, say this was 30 and this was 50, then anything between 30 and 50 is good. So 35, usual. 40, usual. 47, usual. 55, unusual, because it's bigger than 50. 20, unusual. 100, unusual. 36, usual. So anything between these is okay. Let's do an example. So let's see. I actually don't have an example, so I'll just, I'll just make one up. Uh, how about this? Historically, historically, Tyson has KO'd, KO means knockout, KO'd 85% uh, of his enemies or opponents. opponents. Tyson uh, used to be a uh, boxer. Uh, I, I'm just making this up. I actually don't know if it's 85%. So historically, Tyson has KO'd 85% of his opponents. Next year, Next year he will have, let's say he's a superhero, he will have 300 fights, ridiculous, which is not reasonable. So 300 fights. So historically Tyson has KO'd 85% of his opponents. Next year he will have uh, uh, 300, uh, 300 fights right next year. So we want A, the expected number of KOs. Let's find the expected number of KOs, part A. So we have to find the expected value, basically. So this is a binomial probability question, right? Because there are either two options, right? Either Tyson KOs an opponent or does not KO an opponent. So in this problem, success, just to spell it out completely, is KO, right? Tyson knocks out one of his opponents. And little p is the probability of success. Well, there's an 85% chance that Mr. Tyson knocks out an opponent, so P is 0.85. N is the number of trials, right? He's going to have 300 fights next year, so we will have 300 trials. So we expect Mr. Tyson to knock out NP opponents. So NP, so 300 times 0.85. And I think this is 255 if I'm doing it right in my head, but I'm not going to be a hero. I'm going to use the calculator. So let's see, 300 times 0.85. Good stuff, 255, 255. So we expect Mr. Tyson to knock out 255 of uh, his opponents. You could actually do this without any statistics or probability. You can just think about it. Watch this. So he knocks out 85% of his opponents. 
So 85% of 300. In mathematics, of means multiply, right? So 85% of 300 is 0.85 times 300, so which is the same thing, which is 255. So the formula does make sense. It's P percent of N. That's, that's why the formula makes sense. B, we want the standard deviation. Let's find the standard deviation of the number of KOs. So the formula for the standard deviation was the square root of NPQ. So we know N here is um, 300. P was uh, 0.85. Q is 1 minus P. Okay, Q is 1 minus P. So Q is 1 minus 0.85. So Q is 0.15. Okay. Then sigma, it's going to be equal to the square root of NPQ, which is the square root of, let's see, 300. P is 0.85, and Q is 0.15. So if you put this in your calculator, definitely going to do that. See what it is. So the square root key on this calculator, on this calculator is like orange. So I have to hit second first, then hit that button. Okay, so then 300 times 0.85 times it's like six six point something. I'm thinking. Let's see. Mm, yeah, 6.18, 6.18, um, so 6.18, so that's the standard deviation. So now we have the mean and we have the standard deviation. So now we can ask some questions uh, regarding whether things are usual or unusual. So for example, is, uh, is 260 unusual? So it, would it be unusual for Mr. Tyson to knock out 260 opponents? Well, we can use the, the range rule of thumb. So the minimum usual value, the minimum usual value is, is mu minus two sigma, right? So that's uh, 255 minus two times 6.18. Okay, so let's put this in the calculator. So 255 minus 2 times 6.18. So 255 minus 2 times 6.18. So that's 242.64. So 242.64. So 240 would be unusual because it's less than this. So anything smaller than this is unusual. Then the maximum usual value, so maximum usual value. That would be mu plus 2 sigma. So uh, it'd be 255 plus um, 2 times 6.18. Okay, let's type it in the calculator. So that would be 255 plus 2 times 6.18. That's 267.36. So 267 that's the maximum usual value. So now the question is, is 260 unusual? Well, it's between these numbers, so the answer is no. Right? It's usual. So 260 is usual, right? So it's not unusual. So for example, 270, well, this one's bigger than 267, so this would be unusual. 250, that one's okay. That one's between these numbers, right? It's between 242.64 and 267.36. This one is usual. So anything between these numbers is usual. So 255 is usual. That's actually the mean. 261 is usual. 220 is unusual because it's below this. So to figure out whether the things are unusual or usual, you just work out the minimum usual value. You work out the maximum usual value. Anything between these numbers is usual. Uh, and if it's not between, it is unusual. That's it.